Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, we're gonna do it. Oh, fuck. We did it. Oh, shit. Oh Buenos tardes. Welcome to this. The last video I just shot blew up a little bit. Nobody knew what this car was, so I wanna do a little walk around. This is a 2011 Porsche Boxster Spider 987.2. This model ranges from 2011 to 2012. What makes this special is kinda of got some RS, GT3 RS flair to it. You get the aluminum doors. Okay, you get the carbon fiber bucket, foldable race seats. You got the GT3 RS wheel, shifter, e-brake, radio delete, AC delete. Um, some bits and bob. Uh, this car has a tent for a roof. It's not that bad to put on. We're here in Mexico. Bienvenidos. Welcome, amigos. We're gonna have a great time. Very nice. Um, but yeah, so this car's got off a, a dyno. I'll show you a little uh, thing right now of a little, little overlay. <laughs> I think it did, you know, roughly speaking, 380 to 405 horsepower at the crank, and maybe, I don't know, 360 torque at the crank, and 320 at the wheels, something like that. Um, absolutely love this car. These are very hard to find. They only made around 850 of these to the United States. Half of them are manual, half of them are PDK. Half of the manuals got carbon bucket seats, half of the other ones got pretty much sofa seats. So it's very hard to find the right spec in this car. What I love about it is that you get a front trunk, you get a rear trunk, and it's just, it's just pure Porsche basics. Uh, there's no infotainment, entertainment in here. It's just you, the bucket seat, the RS wheel, the shifter, three pedals, fucking go. Um, so yeah, so I want to show you what's like the drive. I've never driven the car yet with the tune. It's got the done. I'm not going to go over the parts in this video. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to make a separate video on what is actually on this car. I've gotten a lot of questions about that. So I'm just going to show you the little POV reaction right now of what it's like to drive. And let's hop in. So I've never floored this car yet. So we're gonna do it all together. Far away is 2,800 pounds. I made a video on uh, how to save $200,000 on a GT3 RS. I still live by the sword and die by that sword. This has the exact same interior as a GT3 RS. And uh, you get a lot of the frills for one third the price. Look at this guy. Nice little cyclist. All right, let's see what we can do. Holy shit! Don't be a cop. Oh 
Oh, it's wet, man. I don't know. I mean, it would probably be okay, but I just, it's not worth it. I'm nervous to floor it in this weather. I'm nervous. Sorry. And if you talk to any real OG driver out there, since we're on the back roads, you don't want aerodynamics. You don't want crazy horsepower. I'm not proud that this car has 400 horsepower. That's not my goal. My goal was to pretty much make like the best version of this generation Boxster Spider. And I think I've pretty much gotten it. Again, in another video, I'll go over every single link to every single product. I wanna make sure you guys are taken care of. Uh, I'm actually partnering up with, with Vivid Racing. They're gonna be a, an amazing sponsor for the channel. They reached out to me and said, dude, we love your content. How do we work together? I said, shit, I mean, it's kind of a hobby for me, you know, kind of after work. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, let, let's, let's see what we can do. Sure. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, we're gonna do it. Oh, fuck. We did it. Oh, shit. Oh. All right, I'm not a drifter. I can't put that online. No shot. Fast hands. Guys, that is all we have time for for today. It is simply too wet outside to enjoy this car. The rain doesn't scare me from taking it out. The rain does scare me from using it the way it was designed. We try to prioritize safety first. So please consider subscribing and uh, I will post another video on what this car is like to drive with all this stuff. Now we're all tuned up and tuned in. And I just wanna say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. We appreciate you. If you want to stick around, great. If you don't, that's fine. Pass on through. If you want to stick around, consider subscribing. Maybe a little smash-o with a like button. And uh, if, you have a, if you have a question, drop in the comment below. And we'll see you next time.